Dylan, can you tell us something about yourself? Okay, I'm Dylan Wong. I am a Chinese American from San Francisco. I am. Uh, I can feel myself fourth generation Chinese, even though you know each of my parents were born in China, because uh, everyone came here and went back, uh, except my father. Uh, and um, actually. And, 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 and my grandfather. My grandfather passed away here in my week. Um, anyway, um, I'm a, you know, I, I grew up in San Francisco. I grew up in Chinatown. Uh, my father ran a store in uh, Grand Avenue. Uh, I'm, so I'm born and raised in San Francisco, Chinatown. And, uh, my, my parents told me my great grandfather worked the railroads. He came on a clipper ship, you know. Uh, but, you know, we don't know too much about him. He uh, worked the railroad and returned to China as well. So how long he stayed, I don't know. You know I'm beginning to think he stayed for a while in Wairika too, you know. So, what brings you here to this event? Uh, I've always had this thing for Chinese American history. It's an interest that I've always had ever since um, I, I was a student in high school. I, you know, I always researched on my own. You know, and I, you know, I always felt this feeling that you know the Chinese experience, the Chinese contribution to the railroad and American history in general, you know, is often overlooked. So you know that that's just one of my you know uh, I just took upon myself to come out here to join the party in this uh, photographic event. So what do you hope to achieve here? What well, I hope to achieve here. Um, more awareness of the, uh, of, of the what the Chinese in, in uh, building the railroad uh, that you know there's more uh, historical resources that will develop out of this. What does it mean to you, a Chinese American? What's it mean to me? Um, that you know that I myself, you know, is, is, you know can be proud of myself. Would you explain to someone who does not understand the concept of Chinese American? <laughs> it will take time, you know. It's just like we're trying to explain it to my children. <laughs> what is, how is a Chinese American different from, say, a China Chinese? What is uh, special about that? Uh, we can enjoy it in the best of both worlds, yes. Uh, you know, we you know, can uh, you know, root for our our local baseball team at the same time, you know, we, 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 we can, uh, we, we, we can yay, say yay when, when China achieves things in the world, you know, do good things, you know, we can be part of China as well. You know, Are there then, any bad things about being Chinese in America? Well, <laughs> you know, uh, Chinese always get a bad rap. You know, and and when that happens, you know, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Example. Example. Well, I guess the middle latest example now is uh, you know how how Chinese are tourists are rude, you know, around the world. You know, I feel that you know that 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 plays a negative uh, impression on us, and, 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 and the fact that other people are jumping on this and like to say that, you know, you know, you know and to me, this many. In this world, you know, not just Chinese. Too. And, 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 yeah. What about growing up in America? Did you find any discrimination? In a way, I'm, I was kind of insulated, you know, being uh, born and raised in Chinatown. Uh, so, in a way, uh, I was insulated. You know, no, no one, you know, I said, get out of here, you know, you know Chinese here. Uh, but then that, you know, that, you know, I was. You know, when I was in elementary school, you know, the teachers were pretty racist and made, you know, pretty, uh, uh, some pretty uh, bad racist remarks at, our, at, at us, you know, and got away with it, you know. And it's not possible nowadays. How did you deal with that? How did I deal with that? I guess we, uh, we just took it. I don't know, you know, the, 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 can we go to the principal and say, hey, you know, and slap the principal a few times. I don't know. <laughs> so you're not resentful. You're not angry about all that. Um, angry. I don't know. If that's a word, but you know, it's like I say. You know, the, my my uh, 
I try, you know, to, uh, to, to express myself as a Chinese American and, 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 uh, and, and to, uh, you know, and, and to promote, you know, Chinese American history. You know, this may be one of my reactions to, to all that experience. How much further does America need to go to realize what you want to achieve? <laughs> um, how much? That's a tough one, but uh, you know, it, as you know, just today's event, you know, it is a step forward. You know, and I mean, you know, tomorrow will be the first time ever, you know, that many Chinese will show up at the Golden Spike. You know, just things like that. You know, will, will help. I do a lot of photography in, in the Asian American community. I, I, let's say this, when I first started docu, uh, photographing back in 1999, one of my first passions was to you know, know, uh, capture images of, the, of, the, of where I live, you know, which was right in Chinatown. You know. and, and it was a time of a lot of uh, social involvement and social issues being brought forward. This was in the late 60s now. As you know, there, 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 there were you know a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, events you know that, that 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 shaped my life at that time. So you uh, had exhibitions. I've had exhibitions. Yes. Like how many? Are how many? I don't know. Yeah. I, um, what are your I, you major? Know, like, what is the the subject that you are particularly interested in? It's mostly um, you know photo, uh, photojournalistic type of images of of everyday life, you know, slice of life type of, of uh, images uh, of, uh, you know, Ch Chinese American, you know, Chinese American community. Of course, you know, when, when you, uh, when, when you actually uh, do the editing, you can, you can interface you know, my, my, my pictures that you find on the internet, you know. And what is it that draws you to this subject? Is it just that uh, you are? I, I say, um, you know, just growing up not seeing much images you know, uh, of, uh, uh, of our community of Chinese Americans, you know, not, you know, not, not seeing much uh, uh, images in books, you know, in, in the media. And, and if we were in the media, it was always, always a very negative and a ridiculing type of way, you know. So, uh, you know, that was one of my uh, things that drove me to do what I do. And do you try to get them in? To the mainstream media, um, how do you promote that? Yeah, like? yeah, yeah. Let's see this. The mainstream media is not. It, the, the, it never seems to be ready, you know, you know to, to 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 look at our images. You know, I'm not gonna you know, go out of my way. I'm gonna just keep on doing what I'm doing. That's what I'm say. To, to begin with, not much of us are there to begin with. So, so uh, what more can I do? <laughs>